much so. It's this thing. You want a little hot? <laughs> 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 Yo, don't be smoking with the child, bro. What you doing? Oh, I don't have a kid. I'm just fat. Hey, I have some fentanyl <laughs> for you. Why didn't you say something? Here's a baby shower, <laughs> I guess, for awesome. you too. There you go. Yep. Oh, f yeah. You guys are awesome. Go commit murder. Well, it seems that the cops are holding interviews. Let's go see if we have what it takes. <laughs> oh lordy. Oh lord. I feel like the bell of the ball. <laughs> what are we trying to do? We trying to get in there? Yeah, I'll help. I just want a job, Jay. Where the fuck you still got a ball spot? Alright, they'll Damn. come now. <laughs> hey, can you can you two monkeys clear out, man? The two gorillas or whatever. I don't know what you are. Just clear no, out, guys. Fucking leave. No, not you, you fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. No one wants you here. Get out of here. What's this? I drew a window. You look really hot. <laughs> I took Vindo. What do I do? Help. Oh shit, Help anyway. Me. I took a Take Vindo. more. Take more. Vindo. <laughs> what do you mean, nigga? Nigga. Yeah, take, take this more. guidebook and it'll tell you all the rules. <laughs> Just run away with the sunset, baby. <laughs> You're my knight in shining armor. <laughs> you like monkey dick? Yeah, make a right right here at this corner. Right. I don't, what, right. The, I don't know about I don't know about right or left. To the right. To the right. Which which way? To my hat. This way? No, the other way. This way? Yeah, that way. Oh. Go that way. And we're gonna go into the custom cafe here, right here. Go in here. Ooh, baby. Alright. I don't wanna be with you. I've been divorcing you. <laughs> what? What are you gay or something? Oh. What do you have to offer? Hawk. <laughs> Is this open applications or no? Uh, we'll talk about that. Alright, follow me guys, follow me guys. I'm not, I'm a huge fan. If you're here for the open application, go ahead. Here we go. Okay, thank you. Damn. You guys are so... Yo, I'm at the middle. I don't know. Damn, bro, I think you cracked the wooden... That's out, brother. Ground cracking. All right, everyone line up. Everyone line up right here on a single file line. <laughs> She's popping fat doll. She's popping fat doll as he speak. She just took a fat doll pill. I just did take. She just took a fat doll pill, babe. Why are you so close to me? Like, to I back don't the know. Yeah. Back the fuck up, dude. Stop. Like, serious. Stop. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm, I'm sit back I'm, here. Stop. Stop. Don't touch me. So they picked me to go last, and I haven't seen anybody for a good ten minutes. I doubt I'm getting this job. Are you the last interviewee? Yeah. Alright, uh... Alright. Bro, he is not thrilled to interview uh, me. And I think there's two more things. Just take a seat, please. I talked to you about Heather. I don't know if she brought this to you yet. Uh, can we get the... Ooh, I got an idea. I'm gonna do the basic instinct to make him look up my skirt. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, guys, but I need to interview this person over here. Yeah, yeah, here, come on, come here, look, look, look. I got one more question, too. I got one more. Uh... All right, um, what should I address you, ma'am or sir? Ma'am. All right, ma'am. Um, first off, do you have uh, any felonies before we start? No. What is your first and last name? Melinda Little. Okay. Um. Do you have any PD uh, prior experience? No. Okay. Uh, why would you be a part of PD, and what can you be uh bringing to the department? Sure. I feel like I can bring a lot of uh, you know, street experience to the department. I've been a victim of a crime many times. What do you mean by uh, street experience, ma'am? 
Sir. Well, I've been living on these streets. Did you say sir? No, I said or sir. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I've been living on these streets, you know, for 32 years. And I, I feel like I, I know the criminal element out there and what they're capable of. I want to help okay. people that can't fight back and, and bring justice to these streets. All right. I am going to ask you a couple of questions and... I'd like you to uh, see how I would respond to them, okay? Okay. So those are going to be like scenario questions. Um, All right. So you're traveling from a crime scene to mm -hmm. back to PD. You have, mm -hmm. the, you have a suspect in custody. He's in the back of your vehicle. Mm -hmm. And you see a vehicle in the, middle of the, in the middle of the street, sorry. Right. And there's obvious signs of uh, damage on the operator of the vehicle. Uh -huh. Um, he's laying down on the floor uh -huh. in the middle of the street and there's blood. Oh, the, God. The vehicle is completely damaged. Okay. And, uh, it's just causing traffic. What do you do in that situation? Okay, well, you gotta immediately call for the, for the paramedic. Because he obviously hit something, you know. Could have been a victim of a crime, got shot, something, he's bleeding. Uh, yeah. You got a prisoner, but you gotta you gotta take control of your prisoner. You can't just leave him there. So you would try to try to block off traffic best you can, and then uh, call for backup gotcha. officers to come take control of the scene so you can process your prisoner. All right. So I have another question for you. Uh huh. The second question is: You're gonna be uh, dispatched to the beach. For uh, 1017, which means a potential drug sale was okay. committed in the area. Uh -huh. um, you're there to investigate. Uh -huh. And then once uh, you're there, your surgeon right. violated one of the SOPs, uh, which stands for Standard, Standard Operation Procedures. Okay. Um, he violated one of the SOPs, and he did something you didn't like to the suspect. Okay, what'd he do? Uh, it could be anything. Uh, so he did something... Is it like a hypothetical? Yeah, hypothetical, like, violation of the SOPs. Like, he just violated his rights or something. You, you uh, like, their constitutional rights or just, like, a departmental... Both. You know, both? Oh, like okay. Like, any, any rights. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, something against protocol, pretty much. Oh, gotcha, uh, okay. What do you do in that situation? Well, if you violated somebody's rights, you know, you gotta, you gotta report that. You got, like, internal affairs, so you would, you would have to go to them with everything, or else you get charged for what he did. You know? One bad apple spoils the bunch, you know? Mm hmm So, um, let's say he did the, uh, violation. Uh -huh. And, uh... You know that it's something against um, the rules, right? Uh huh. Um, what do you do? Like, do you uh, comply with him? Do you like assist him, or do you just tell him, "Hey, don't uh -huh. do that"? No, you you know you got a, like a duty to intervene. You know, you gotta you gotta pull him aside and say, "Hey, no, you're not allowed to do that." You know, you're a sergeant. You know this. And if he wants to continue with it, then you know you gotta go to go to go to internal affairs and report him. If there's no internal affairs, then I assume there's a chain of command, you know? Mm. All right. Good answer. Um, so, another question. So, you're in a police cruiser. Uh -huh. You have a partner in the vehicle. Uh -huh. And suddenly you have a dispatch of a bank robbery on Howick Flika. Oh, God. You okay. Are, you and your partner arrive first on scene. Nobody's there. No. And when you assess the situation, you see two suspects come running out of the bank. Yeah. Armed with two handguns. Oh, okay. And they shoot your partner and he goes down. Oh, God. What do you do in that situation when everything is falling apart in front of you? Well, we got to get to a safe area. We immediately call for backup and then an EMS to stabilize the injured officer. But they already shot an officer, so, you know, you can go with lethal force. You you know you got a duty to intervene and protect the public. So you know if they, it's just, just pistols, that's like class one, you know, and uh, you know they shot an officer and he went down. So you go to class two, right? Yes, sir. What? All right. Um. You say, sir? Oh, I mean, yes, ma'am. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Um. 
Final question. Okay. This is going to be a tricky one. Okay. So you are patrolling and then you get a call okay. of a man. He's holding a sword. Oh, God. Okay. He's walking down the street with a sword. Is it like there, is it like a British Claymore sword, like a knight would have, like, or like, like a, a samurai sword? Like a long sword, like a very lethal one. Oh Not god, the okay. Kitchen, kitchen, you know. Uh, it's a yeah, it's a dangerous weapon. Okay, yeah. Uh, he's walking down the street. Uh, he flashing his weapon. People uh -huh. are scared. Uh -huh. Um, they're oh, calling sorry, I need you to be uh, for yeah. police to help. And assess the situation. Uh huh. Uh. Nope, nope. Yeah, they're calling for police to assess uh, the uh, situation. Uh huh. And uh, you arrive on scene. Right. Uh, you see that he's not really mentally stable. Right. And he starts screaming at you. What do you say? All right. Since I got since, since There's some random words. Uh, Just random uh, words. Don't make sense. No. Oh, okay. Uh. He and comes I'm towards you, control, okay, and then he starts running with the knife like he's about to hit you with it. Oh, okay. You have three options. Uh -huh. You have option A, which is going to be scream at the suspect. Okay. Option B is going to be, um, pace him. Okay. And option C is going to be shoot him. Okay. It, how far away is he? Did you not get a call sign? He's about as far as uh, the gentleman over there in white. Is there anything between us? Like, you know, like a car? No, no. just a straight shot? Straight shot. Oh, jeez. Well, you gotta, you gotta give him strong verbal commands, but he's running at you with a knife and he has a deadly intent, so you gotta shoot him. You gotta shoot that man, you gotta kill him. You gotta shoot him, or are you gonna just scream at him? No, oh, no, you gotta shoot him. You gotta shoot him. You always have to give verbal commands, but you, you know, you gotta shoot him. Gotcha. All right, just stay here. I'm going to discuss with my uh, fellow uh, high command. Okay. And we're gonna go back to you. Okay. Uh, Jake, can I talk to you in private? Yeah, what's up? Okay, look. Um, I am not going to lie to you. Uh -huh. You are very skilled in, uh, what's it called, information-wise. Okay. We would like to uh, get your help. Okay. But unfortunately, your uh, your character is not, like, physically uh, able to be joined, uh, joining what, the police. What do you mean? Like, we cannot have uh, a character like that. If you want, you can make a cousin. That matches your voice, that matches actually uh, the personality. Okay. Because, um, let's not lie, your character is a, it's a troll character. Okay. And I would do the same if I was you, trust me. Would you? But, um, yeah, to make a character just a troll around. You I like, do that. you like trolling people? Yeah. You like, like you like being a lawyer? Time, time. You like you like better I call Saul. You like Saul Goodman. All right, you know me. You know me from somewhere. Where do I know you, Lewis? What the fuck? Uh, it's fucking... <laughs> 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 no way. Did, did I do good? Did I do good, Lewis? You did amazing. You just you. wasted my time. I know Come I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. You want to come back to the forest, please? No. Oh, man.